Welcome back guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the pecking order theory. So what is this pecking order theory? Let's break this down. So let's take an example. You want to buy the new iPhone 15 and there are three options available. Flipkart from Amazon or from the Apple stores. From where will you buy it? The place where it costs the lowest, right? In the same way, when company needs to raise funds, company goes through a lot of different options to raise the new finance. So pecking order theory states the order of finance in which the company should raise to minimize its cost. So basically it goes like this. The first rank here is retained earnings. Why retained earnings? Because retained earnings are the accumulated profits and losses of the company which they have collected over the years. So the retained earning does not have an external cost because it's the company's own funds. So the first preference is given to retained earnings. After that, the second comes is debt. Debt finance is cheaper than equity and a little costlier than retained earnings. Why? Because in debt, they have to pay interest. But in interest payments, they get a tax benefit. Therefore, debt finance is the second position in the pecking order theory. And after that, comes equity. So the equity shareholders takes high risks. Therefore, they expect more returns. Therefore, it costs more for the company to raise finance from the equity shareholders. That is the reason it is the third on the pecking order theory. So whenever a company has options to raise finance, pecking order theory shades that companies should raise finance in this following order. First, retained earnings, second, debt, and third, equity to minimize the cost of capital. Thank you so much.